Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and it's still high pressure across most of the Intermountain West, but there are a couple of small wrinkles, uh, a couple of fronts that may sneak around the periphery of this high, and I'll talk about those in one such front. I'll actually come through on Friday and drop a little bit of snow right here at Big Sky. I mean, what a view. Look at that. Isn't that awesome up there? Big Sky, Montana. Uh, probably two or three inches up there. Uh, mid-mountain and higher and that same front will then drop down through Wyoming probably a couple or three inches through the Tetons, Jackson Hole, Grand Targan then drop into Colorado on Friday as well and I'm expecting two three four inches of snow Loveland in fact you know what let's take a look at uh, Loveland ski area look at that beautiful day up there a little bit of high cloudiness you're looking out uh, from the continental divide here um, down into the basin you can see uh, Grays and Tories off in the distance uh, I think, yeah, probably a couple, three inches up through Loveland. And I'll show you my totals coming up. But uh, Loveland, Winter Park, A Basin, Eldora, Steamboat, uh, Keystone, they'll all get in on the action. Yeah, but even Vale, I think, will probably see some snow out of this. Um, so let's talk about the pattern here. First of all, let me show you what the jet looks like. So it's coming through. You can see storm system there. And it's really amplified up into the Gulf of Alaska. And then it's dropping down into the Pacific Northwest. And it's you can see the storm that it's supporting. And then eventually it does that number. So what's going to happen is, let me just draw this in. Um, with the, uh, the low, it's sitting about right here. There's another big low. And then there's another one back here. So what's going to happen is this, uh, this one will get escorted and then basically there's a front that's going to spin off and it's going to drop down through Montana, Wyoming, and then into Colorado, just kind of following the jet or the storm track and that's why it's only going to affect those areas. Now this storm will get pushed up and, and this one will also follow a similar, similar trajectory and maybe spin off a couple of small cold fronts that will try to run through the high, but the high is going to be with us for quite some time. I've had a lot of questions on when is this thing going to be, when is it going to move? When is, it, when is the storm cycle going to return to the west? And there's no easy answer. The data is mixed and the confidence is low. I'll show you, in fact, let's go to the... Um, Let's go to the GFS here, American model, the future radar here. Uh, let me move into, okay, so between tonight and tomorrow, you can see the front that's coming down out of Wyoming. See the blue, the very light shading of blue through Wyoming and Montana, and then eventually into Colorado. This is Friday morning, and it's dropping in to the mountains right there, and then it moves down, and there's not a whole lot to it. It's very fast-moving and moisture-starved, and then it's out of here, and this will actually turn into a very large deep south storm system, and then it moves up into the northeast. You can see it there in the form of a nor'easter with heavy snow into the interior all the way up into New England. Um, I would say if you're looking for some interesting weather, and big powder and wind and colder weather, look at Sunday, Monday in the northeast, Vermont, New Hampshire, and, and Maine for big snow in, in the northeast for a change. So go up there. Um, back here along the west. So aside from that little cold front, what, what's next? Um, there's potentially something else right here on the 18th, 19th that tries to sneak down. Um, and you can kind of see it right there, even into the 20th. But I, I, I'm, I, my confidence is very low, even with that, that it makes it through the high. Uh, I think more likely something on the 22nd, 21st, 22nd. You can see that front right there coming down through Montana. Um, so this is Thursday night, and this is Friday morning, the 21st of January. So probably something right in here might be more likely on the periphery of the high rather than anything trying to sneak through the heart of it. That drops south, and then it's out of here. Here's the 22nd, the morning of the 22nd, um, and we're just back to big high pressure. Well, I'm just rolling it out here. Here's the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. Okay, now right here, 27, 28, 29, there is something more substantial. You can see it, that low dropping down through the Pacific Northwest into California, into Utah, Wyoming, and then eventually into Colorado. But my goodness, we're talking about... 10 days, 10 plus days out at this point. I mean, 10 to 15 days out. So there's, again, data is mixed and there's just not a lot of confidence. That's the short answer to that question. Let's look at my totals in two different time frames, all of today through the 18th. So this front that comes down the, per the periphery of the high drops two or three inches in Big Sky, Bridger Bowl, Discovery, Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee, and then moves into Colorado with generally one to three inches. There might be a four or five, six inch amount, maybe over Cameron Pass and over Rocky Mountain National Park, Indian Peaks. 
But you can see what I'm thinking there. That actually drops down through San Ski Santa Fe, Taos, and Angel Fire as well. And there's a little bit of snow in the Pacific Northwest and the Revel Stoke and Fernie. Um, let's do phase number two here. Um, so this is phase two, the 19th through the 22nd. And again, there's potentially a second cold front that tries to sneak through and maybe something more on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd. And that's what I'm showing right here. You know, another one to four, maybe a seven inch amount in Colorado, back towards Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee, Big Sky, and so on. And there's some better snow up in the Pacific Northwest and in towards um, BC and Banff during that time period as well. So Again, we're really searching at this point uh, with the high pressure remaining dominant. There might be some things that run around the periphery. Um, uh, but as far as big pattern changes, it, we may have to wait till the end of the month. So there you go, guys. Enjoy it. Hope you can find some, some powder and look to the northeast. That storm Sunday, Monday looks pretty good. Take care.